Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to show you how to keep fit on board. Yeah, we've got a, something a little bit different for you. Uh, we, um, we try and keep fit as we go along and we're going to show you a little bit how we do that. Enjoy. This is snatch block and snatch is in snatch and grab. And these are quite common um, in sailing in general and quite handy to have a spare one around because you can open them. Look, you can open that and it, it'll maintain it. This one is in particular is a, a, a two ton load on it. Um, and you can use this for a setup which creates a barber hauler. Uh, and what's really great about them in sailing is that this line, for example, this, this is my main sheet, uh, one of my main sheets anyway, and it's already fixed in place. And I can basically just hook on to that and, and now it's connected. And I have a pulley block that runs along the side. Uh, and if you think about it normally, I would have to, if I take this off, I would have to, um, you know, take off that line and then thread it through and then reattach it. So very quickly, you can just uh, add another pulley block to a, a, a line already in place. And then this, this, this section here of, of this piece of equipment, this is a snap shackle. Uh, and um, snap shackles are pretty handy if we use one uh, very quickly. There's good load on it. Um, and um, this snap shackle is rated for two tons. So that means this whole system really is rated for two ton. And I think this pulley block could probably handle a little bit more uh, weight. In fact, a lot more weight than two ton. But we use that setup. This one happens to be from a company called Lumar. Um, and we've had this one for pretty much the entire length of the, the ownership of this boat. And <clears throat> what this means is that you can, um, on the Genoa sheet, if you're going downwind um, or in a spinnaker, you can get better sail trim, i.e. you can get more flat surface. Uh, if, the, if you're going downwind, you can flatten out the sail better and get a nice shape, um, um, particularly for going downwind. But let's remember, uh, generally on, on faster multi-hulls, you're going to turn up into the wind a little bit more uh, if the wind's behind you turn up a little bit more add some more miles and you'll get better performance and and your velocity made good to your destination will be better in the end so it seems a bit counterintuitive um, that adding more miles gets you to your destination quicker but in fact it does so this is a another type of pulley block and this this is a, a nice one this one will be used for a spinnaker sheets but like i said this one you actually have to thread the line through so i have this is originally a sheet that i've repurposed for, for just general multi-purpose bits and pieces in fact it might have been a firing line i'm not entirely sure um pretty bad form to have that like that i should have melted that off with a hot knife and, and <laughs> stopped it fraying but anyway um anyway what you have to do is uh, this is while i'm here i should just show you that the way that we've packed this line together means that if we do it all the same way, we can all go to it pretty easily. We know, you know, know which way that that line, when you go to pick it up, the beauty is if that's put away properly, everybody has their own different way, but if that's put away properly, when I go to pick it up, everybody has a good idea on which way to unfold it. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna take this one off and I'm gonna take the nice side and we're going to make our onboard gym out of this at the moment. So here's one side that I, I did actually melt and cut properly. And we're going to thread it through the pulley block. And now I'm going to attach this to the boom. And uh, I'm sure going to show you how we make our onboard gym. The next piece is you take your trusty backup water reserve. So this is this is uh, our water reserve can. And the beauty is that one liter uh, is one kilo. And this is when it's full, it is 20 liters. And when it's full. And uh, then what we're gonna do is take 
this very well cut piece of cordage and thread it through the handle. And then we're, I'm gonna show you the one-handed bowlin. Uh, now you basically, I'm gonna show you this. If you, if you slow this video down, you might be able to get this as a very useful knot in sailing. The bowlin is great because it's a knot that cannot be released under tension. But then once the tension is released from it, then you can quite easily get it off. It's, it's one of the top three knots you'll use all the day. So you should, you should definitely know how to do this knot. You generally have the cut end, which is called the bitter end, and then the standing end. Uh, and this is, uh, that's a, com a term that you use for all cordage, all right, whether it's on a boat or not. We take the bitter end, stick it through the handle of the jerry can. And then on the standing end, I'm gonna show you, we'll turn this around. So I hold this bitter end like a cigarette. Like that. If I hold a cigarette and have my see my my thumb, my thumb's pointed up. Mm -hmm. So I point the thumb down, and with my thumb and my index finger, I'm going to hold the standing end and twist my wrist. Mm -hmm. So remember, I'm starting off with my thumb down. I'm going to hold the, the with my index finger and the thumb, and the bitter end is going to be uh, come around to my fingers like that. You see that? That is a bowline. Okay. The way it's nicely dressed. You get that? All right. So, so now under let's let's prove my, my theory. So under tension. So now I'm now pulling that 20 liter jerry can. There's no way I can I cannot open that knot. All right. So let me put a lot of force in it. There's the force on the on the jerry can. All right. And I can't open that knot. It's back down again. But now how you open one of these is that's that's the nicely dressed. Uh, bowline or bowline, however you want to pronounce it, but I just turn it up upside down and then open it like this. Job done. So that is a bowline, and Eva's going to give us a demonstration of that right now and do it perfectly every time. So Eva's just going to demonstrate that. Yeah. That's it. And you'll notice whenever she's closing the knot, she's pulling, she's pulling the the bitter end and the loop together to dress the knot. And when it when the knot looks like that, you've done it right. And now when she lets go, and we put some some tension on the jerry can. There you go. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Job done. The next part of this, setting up this gym, is basically using an alpine butterfly knot. Now, we have um, bought this little soft handle, so it's nicer in your hands as the weights get heavier. It's nice to have this little soft uh, foam handle, but you don't necessarily need that. On, you're not going to find that when you're in the middle of the ocean. So if you've got loads of cordage on a boat, um, and the thing you're going to do is probably something like this. So this is an alpine butterfly. And the beauty about it is you can do it anywhere along a line. It's a little bit like a knot version in a way of the snatch block that I just showed you. And so we do three turns around my hand like this. So make it more easy for you down here. We do three, t three turns around your hand, wrap it three turns around. And you, from underneath, you grab the middle one. And then you thread that through the whole lot like that. There you go. Alpine butterfly now got a handle. You can start using that pulley block as a as a gym session. There we go. Got handle there. So it's as simple as that. Now, what I want to show you is with our snatch block. I take the snatch block, and on this boat we just got on the on the um, push pit, we've got just this little bit of stainless. So remember I said it's a snatch block, so we can basically save ourselves having to thread it all the way through the line. Take this, take this guy. And now you can basically do your workout this way. So you're lifting the jerry can from down a ways up. So you can stand in the shade underneath this underneath this, um, you know, the, the cockpit here. And so again, so I know that's about the right place here that I want to want to handle. 
So I'm going to do my alpine butterfly again. There you go. Now I've got a, a gym that works this way. Bit noisy though. That's the job. Pretty much the same way that a bowline you turn it upside down and you open it it's like a safety lock almost same thing with the alpine butterfly turn it upside down and you should be able to basically pull the loop out that cordage is unaffected by the tension on it, it hasn't kicked the cord or anything handy tell you a little trick when you're on board or you get any friends on board it's quite nice just to, if you've got a rainy day or everybody's just a bit bored or getting a little bit too relaxed, um, what you can do is you can practice knots. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get Eva to do it. And um, once people start to, to, to get good at it and they think they're good, then put them under a time pressure. So that's what we're going to do. Go for it, Eva. How, how quickly do you reckon you can do it? 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. All right. 10 seconds. Go. <laughs> Sí, así vamos. ¿Cuánto va eso? Ahí va. Y esta. No. Dos. Tres. Medio pasado por acá. Este. No. Let's try it again. Okay. 10 seconds, go. Ooh, bit of pressure there. <laughs> no pressure. Perfecto, no? Good. Yeah, that's good. ¿Cuánto va ahí? <laughs> bueno, vamos. So you can see from my point is that you can make a bit of a game out of these things and as a result you you know you can reaffirm your knowledge and you, the point is if you need to do a bowline um, a bowline or if you need to do a cleat hitch under pressure or an alpine butterfly under under pressure you know you can do it and having that self, you know, um, you know, confidence, it's helpful in, in a stressful situation, which I can tell you, you can have quite a few on board a boat. Got an alpine butterfly there. It's perfectly dressed by the captain. And I'm just gonna take this as another useful piece of equipment. It's a hook, basically, but I'm gonna take this, this little hook and uh, another p useful sailing piece of equipment but now I've got just a I just had one of these lying around right it's just lying around for another job and now we've got a soft handle so it means that with 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 my workout I can do a nice get a good workout there get the old triceps going it's 20 20 kilos on the triceps folks no problem just do 50 of those now so I've got 20 liters in in the container I'm just going to open the open the little valve on the back to let the air out and obviously I'm not going to do this when I need the the fresh water but just pour out a bit of this water about half of it and then you've got 10 kilos or 15 kilos or whatever it is that you want um, do your workout That. Yeah, there's a lot there, isn't it? <laughs> so you can you can put um, you know on your on your jerry can. What we could do is just put some marker lines for you know uh, 20 liters, 15, 10, 5 liters, and then you know you've got five kilos. Remember, you could use seawater when you're at sea if, if you drank all of that and you want to try and keep fit at sea. So I'll take my hook. Oh, 
track all back in there. Job done. Now Eva's going to smash out 100 reps for me. So, there we go. A bit more civilized weight, that one. So you can use that. So at the moment, that line's obviously coming from, you know, the top down. But the same, the same thing, I can use my, my snatch block here. I can pull this guy. Put the snatch block in here for a second. Now, because the line's coming from down a ways up, I can use it for a different exercise. You see? So you can do a row. You get the idea. So now we've got the water can and we've got it attached to the snatch bollock. And now Eva is ready to go with her workout. So Eva, carry on, do your... Where is the handle? You've got to make one. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> there we go, there's a, ha there's a handle. And so you're going to do your alpine butterfly where you want it. You're going to do it there? I think probably take it back into the middle of the cockpit a little bit more now. Yeah, you think? Let's see. No. That's it. There you go, we got. There you go. That looks good. home gym and the beauty is of course we're in the shade here you know there's there's all of this shade under, under the sun it's quite a hot day at the moment there's a little bit of a breeze so while Eva smashes out a, a hundred reps each arm do bicep curls there we go so we're just going to take you through some of the things that we can show you basically that you can't can actually do that that leaves you with quite a few options of, of the different you know muscle groups that you can do an innocent victim has just walked past my boat uh, Joaquin is my good friend and uh, Joaquin I've met here Joaquin you're an engineer originally you're an engineer sometimes sometimes, <laughs> sometimes but you're mostly mostly retired engineer and uh, he's um, he's sure. birthed here in Panama for a while so we're going to test Joaquin's uh, grit on, on our new house, house gym on board. Oh, <laughs> yeah. where is that? This is here. This is our gym. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you have a weight here? That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Come, come, come on, come on on board and we'll stay out of the sun. Take the handle here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so we're going to do this. This is a bicep. We're going to. There we go. So we, oh, there we go. We've got, we, he's oh. going to got a lap pull down there. I have a bush, bunch of hole in your. Yeah, no, but so yeah. let it go down easy. Yeah, that's our, there she is. Yeah, that's good. It's not too heavy, and it's not too light. Good. So that's about the right weight. And the thing is, Joaquin, that you can. I would put a little cushion underneath. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, for the deck. Yeah, absolutely. Put a cushion Otherwise underneath. Otherwise, you have a bump. Uh, but the the trick is, Joaquin, that we can obviously add and take out water as we as we ah to increase the weight yeah we can increase we can increase the weight or reduce the weight so this yeah it's very practical yeah practical yeah. stuff quite german <laughs> yeah 
I think that's very really intelligent. <laughs> Right. The, uh, so, yeah, so um, I've just taken I've just taken Joaquin. He's a victim walking past the dock while we'd be doing our um, our workout demonstration, and so I've pulled him in as a victim. And so he's just been telling we'd be telling him that we're about to head to Colombia. So he's got an interesting story about Colombia. Go ahead. Yeah, Colombia has never been invaded, and the guy who they have a big uh, fortification which you can visit also. I don't remember his name. But he had one arm only and one eye, and he was defending the whole city against, uh, I think, Admiral Varnong, uh, who tried to get in there. And they also have, a, on the entrance, there's also a fortress, I think it's called San Fernando, where they used to have to put a chain in there, so nobody can come in. It's very narrow there, uh, and they could, in Istanbul, they had the same during the Byzantine Empire, in Kiskulesi, they had an underwater chain they could raise up nobody could come into the city that, so that's that's a good good idea for pirates it's right good, yeah, yeah great idea for pirates so that's actually one of our methods for for avoiding pirates we can put you know a chain uh, between two floating buys, and you can catch a repeller so ah. a, yeah, that's a handy so you put two two jerry cans a little bit like this uh -huh. um, and then you can join them by a chain um, and some rope and the jerry cans will float and if if the the pirates are falling behind you like they were with us then you can just drop you your jerry can and catch catch the train the yeah the yeah you just join the two jerry cans and you got the the uh, uh, catches catches in their propeller so they don't catch you so there you go like this yeah your two thumbs in there we go go for it that's it and you keep your elbows keep your elbows there so that's it and go that's it there we go look at that look at those triceps Sailor's <laughs> triceps. <laughs> run, Joaquin, run. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do any more exercise now. <laughs>Eva has created a solution using beans from the pantry and each one of these are, this is 400 grams this particular bag so you're making up nearly a kilogram of weights uh, with using old socks and I think these are old airline socks that we used from a transatlantic flight very good you can just attach them and tie them around each either side of your leg and that means you've got something, you know, ready to go with no cost at all. And it's, you're going to use that in your pantry anyway. It's a backup, basically as part of our supplies when we go offshore or off grid. These are excellent, I have to say. The, these elastic bands, we've had them for the entire length of the boat. And you'll be surprised at how many exercises you can do with these. So we'll give you a, a demonstration in a few moments. The different colors obviously mean different strengths and different lengths. But... Let's remember, having heavy weights on board a boat, they can be dangerous in of themselves. One thing I'd recommend that you do as well, as we travel and we change location, we, we try and, and go to different gyms and it gives you a way to see a, a place and um, you know, mix with the local people and see the culture. And um, you know, we can move gyms around, even when you're in a city, you can move around different gyms just to get an idea of what the city's like and what it's really like to live there. And that's the beauty of sailing. You know, you take your time, you're not just flying in and out on a package holiday. You actually get to see the culture and meet people in the gym as well. So if you're a gym person or if you like to keep fit, I suggest you do it anyway, actually. It's just good for you, good health, good to be healthy. This is another one. This is called a TRX system. Uh, this is, is quite fashionable as well. Uh, basically, you would just attach these, these lines to uh, higher points, a little bit like we did with the boom, and you can clip in to different things. A lot of people are using these at the moment and tying them into a harness, say, in the park so they can work outdoors. And uh, it just gives you a few different options. You've got handles that you can basically have at different levels and use your own body weight. So body weight working out um, is, is it's, it's helpful, right? Because you don't have to carry any extra weights. And remember, keeping fit, it's mostly about not not about how much weight you do but it's the it's how often you do it again it's like everything in life in particular sailing good habits really reap their rewards so these ones you can do quite a good uh, bicep curl so you put the elastic in your toes 
like this. Put it in your toes and put your elbows on the inside of your of your uh, of your knees like this, and just do a curl like that. And sit sit a bit more upright depending on what tension you want. There you go. So you can get a good bicep curl going. It's a lot of different exercises, and you know if you buy some of these, you, you'll see loads of different exercises that come come with them. But another one, do triceps, loads of different things. Like this, you could just keep that tension up and maintain your health while you're at sea. Sailing is quite tough on your body sometimes and it's a good idea to try and keep fit uh, as you go along. In that regard, Eva's created a channel about how to use things like this and what's around you uh, to keep fit. You don't necessarily need a gym uh, subscription to uh, keep fit and it's all about, let's remember, it's more important to do it often rather than to do a lot in one session. And uh, so if you're interested in Eva's channel, um, have a look at the link in the description down below and uh, have a little subscribe on the channel, really appreciate your support.